How'd you hear about Fat Tuesdays? How'd you hear about Jesus? <laughs> People told you. This is how we do it. It's 1995. Comics back then were predominantly white. And I said, man, there's so many funny people doing comedy in the hood, but there was no one there to see them. And I was like, OK, I'm going to change that shit. Guy was like, Hollywood don't want to come to the hood, so let's take the hood to Hollywood. Every Tuesday is in this room, Fat Tuesday. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. I saw Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, Martin Lawrence, Jamie Foxx, Kevin Hart. Every week, sold out. It was the neighborhood. For the first time, I was able to do black humor. Man, this was really our space. Fat Tuesday was like a melting pot for, like, genius shit. Stand-up comedy for black comedians, it was born out of some specific circumstances. He stole my radio, my couch. He stole my whole couch? <laughs> comedians take these topics, take the stress off people, and make them fucking laugh. They blame stealing on us like we invented it. Now, we may have perfected it. I mean, yeah, we may snatch a purse, but we didn't steal a whole country and call the United States. <laughs> You would come here and the agents would see you. Maybe you get signed, maybe you get a movie, maybe you get a TV show. It was one of the great renaissances of black comedians being ushered in. People became stars, man. When we created Wild and Out, Fat Tuesday was the model. Film, TV, fashion, music, we all were thriving. Yo, what's up? Fat Tuesday was something very special to witness, to say you were there. I had some fun here tonight. <laughs>